Hello, it's Victoria, and I'm here to talk about something that um, has cropped up in a bunch of questions from people, and um, one that uh, I don't think I've ever spoken about, actually. <laughs> um, so right before we started filming this, I got like a little bit weird and anxious. I even had to do an anxious poo. So, you know, um, <laughs> Madison's laughing on the side. <laughs> So I had like a nervous stomach, which is, you know, I'm used to having a nervous stomach. But anyways, I digress. Um, today's video is a comparison for me in my personal journey of sex pre-transition, so sex as a man, um, even though I never felt that connection, and B, sex as a woman. <laughs> so there, it's a pretty big topic. Uh, it's a pretty vulnerable topic for me. I don't think I've ever spoken about sex as a man because um, it's uh, something that I clearly want to forget. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so, sex as a man. Um, obviously, pre-transition, I was, was and still am attracted to women. <laughs> and... Um, I never understood desire. Uh, like I, like the way my guys' friends would talk about wanting to fuck somebody or like that their dicks would get hard or whatever. <laughs> um, and uh, that never happened to me. <laughs> um, I didn't have that. Um, whatever it was and uh, for the longest time i pretended um i needed to keep up appearances right so um i did that and uh i mean that wasn't um ideal because i was very disconnected from sex um i i definitely feel while i was having sex i was totally disassociative <laughs> um like i was i would in effect, move away from the present. I would go to other places and um, so that I could um, exist, I guess, in that environment, pretending to be the guy, <laughs> right? And um, it felt so um, weird because I knew I was attracted to women, right? But why wasn't there that desire thing right and so i i was very much confused about that for a long time and then i realized it wasn't that the woman was wrong it was that i was wrong right i was in the wrong body i was presenting in the wrong way i was having sex in the wrong way i didn't want to do that thing with the penis um so um it felt very separated so the reason i couldn't connect to desire and to sex and all that stuff wasn't because of the girl it was because of me i was in effect not correct and not in the correct body not only that but i found myself in a total lack of desire so i saw what my male friends spoke about desire and I couldn't feel that thing that they were feeling. So I assumed it was my brokenness. <laughs> I assumed it was my fault. I assumed a lot of things. And as the old saying goes, if you assume a lot, you make an ass out of you and me. Except this time, it was an ass out of me and me. So I asked, memed, whatever. Um, point being, that there was a disconnect. Um, and then, so sex as a man was very uh, strange for me because I never initiated sex. <laughs> I never, like, I never had that thing that people wanted to see in their partner when they were wanting to have sex with them. They wanted to see the desire. And honestly, I didn't even understand what that was. So fast forward, I finally get to put myself into my body that, that, that you see here and that, um, you know, is 
for all intents and intents and purposes, my best one that I've had forever. And um, I get to be me, right? So now I'm having sex as a woman. What does that mean? <laughs> sex as a woman is so different um, for me because finally I'm at peace with my body and I feel I'm in the right place and I'm with the right everything, at least internally. And then start having relationships with women. And again, <laughs> there's something wrong. I, I, I am finally at peace with who I am and I'm finally at peace with being in the right body and being in the right connected space and being having body alignment with my gender and all that stuff. So I, I was very much in a good place personally. And as I continue to grow and become more understanding of the world of women and, um, you know, it was an amazing experience personally, but I wasn't finding, again, the same problem. So this case, it was that I needed to find the right person. <laughs> Right. And so now I find the right person and all of a sudden a place where I had to disassociate and I couldn't be vulnerable. And sex was like making a peanut butter sandwich. I was pretty good at making peanut butter sandwiches for other people. <laughs> and so there was no connectedness for me making a peanut butter sandwich if there was zero vulnerability and zero desire. And then I met Madison, <laughs> who's right over there. And uh, finally, I got to see something that I actually wanted. <laughs> something that I, my body got, went to, woke up all of a sudden. Um, I started to have desire and I started to understand um, that and then after that I had vulnerability vulnerability was the first time I really allowed someone to see me and to touch me and where I felt safe and open like a book to be read and that never happened before and so um, my sexual awakening took a very long time um, I believe that I was very broken sexually and um, it wasn't something that I knew. <laughs> I didn't know I was sexually broken, but I also did kind of know, right? Because I compared that to, compared how I imagined the world to the way people around me had imagined the world and how they perceived sex and how they looked at themselves as sexual creatures. And I was like, sure i am too right was totally not real um and so my vulnerability came when i finally was in the body i needed to be in i was with the person i needed to be with i had the safety of feeling safe and all of those wonderful things that are great relationships bring brings brings to itself right and then I was able to really have sex as a woman. <laughs> and that is the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in my transition. <sighs> to be with, to be myself, to be with a person that I love, to have that experience and that openness and that vulnerability and that beautiful connect connection with another human being and uh, something that I spent my entire life searching for and I somehow found it. So um, the physical part of having sex as a woman is nothing, nothing in comparison to the way you have sex with somebody who you connect with. And that is just the most beautiful thing that you can have. So. For me, sex as a man was disassociative and uncomfortable and had zero vulnerability 
and felt foreign and felt wrong and felt broken and because I was told that that's who I was, right? So um, I'm going to do a topic on gender and sexuality one of these days soon and it's going to blow your mind. But um, anyways, finally, when I'm in my own body and feeling comfortable as myself and having my brain and my body finally being in alignment and being with a woman who sees me the way I want to be seen and need to be seen and loved the way I need to be loved and cared for in the ways I need to be cared for. And I get to do the opposite. I get to care for them in the way they need to be cared for. I get to take care of them in the ways they need to be taken care of and the ways I love to take care of her. So there's like the symbiosis in this beautiful love story. And I'm not sure if the love story is the backdrop, is the personal journey the backdrop. All I know is for me having sex as a woman was so much more than I could have ever imagined on the other side. With that being said, I hope you got to see a little bit of a a little bit of a side of me that you probably have never seen. Um, definitely one that's given me a little bit of pause and vulnerability, but um, I hope you've learned something. Okay, talk to you later.